Well, why am I humming? When you watch this movie, you know why I would be humming. Abominable. So Abominable is a new DreamWorks animated film that basically tells the story of this young girl named Lee who basically has a simple life but she has no connection with her family since her father passed away. Until she found a yeti on top of the roof which she calls him Everest, he comes from a lab which basically scientists experiment on him and he just wants to go home so Lee and two of her friends had to get to Everest and get Everest back home and try to get away from the scientists for doing experiments on that Yeti. Now I do love DreamWorks. Most of the films by DreamWorks were really really good like Shrek and especially How to Train Your Dragon films. They are definitely my favorite DreamWorks movies of all time. But then DreamWorks goes in a little bit of a down level with Trolls and Turbo and all that stuff. Just forgettable animated films. So I do not know what to think of a Abominable going into it. Until, you know what, it says on the poster from the studio that bought you How to Train Your Dragon, so maybe this movie could be really good. And besides, the trailers, you know, I kept my interest. Even though this looks like a cliched creature going home type film, I'll give this film a chance. So this movie's out, I was bored, I wanted to go see a movie, which I always love doing. So I went to this film with an open mind, and I gotta say, guys, Abominable really freaking surprised me. I would say I'm part with Toy Story 4. It's one of my favorite animated films of the entire year. This film is surprising a lot of fun, a really sweet and heartwarming film that basically delivers a message from kids and adults during this day. And that's what an anime film should do, and I think Abominable did it really well. But let's talk about the characters in this film also. We get Lee in the film, who basically is a really good protagonist in the film. You do root for her to get Everest back home, but she's also a very likable character. She's a girl that basically has a troubled life. She has no relationship with her mom and her grandma. Her father passed away and she really misses him and she dreams about going to places that her father wanted to go and that makes you kind of root for her for getting Everest back home to experience the journey that she's in also. But her chemistry with Everest the Yeti in the film was so sweet. It is so adorable and of course Everest the Yeti is it, just adorable. You can't help just saying all the entire film. Like he's just so freaking adorable. But also, the side characters that she goes along with, I thought they are going to be annoying. They're actually really good characters as well. They're really fun. That little kid in the film, I, I forgot their names and I feel guilty about it, but that little kid in the film, I thought he was going to be annoying. He was actually really hilarious in the film. He brings up some really comedy one-liners. He also has a great chemistry with Everest in the film. Also, this teenage cousin that he had, I think he's his cousin or brother or something like that. He was also good in the film. He was very likable as well. All the characters in this film were very freaking likeable in the film. But I gotta say, the thing that stood out with Abominable is the animation. The animation in this movie is absolutely breathtaking. Like, when you see the Yeti doing his magic in the film, the animation looks so freaking breathtaking. It looks beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Kubo and the Two Strings a little bit. This is kind of like the DreamWorks version of Kubo and the Two Strings, and I didn't feel like they're copying it. They're doing it in their own original way, because this movie also involves with music as well. Music is an important part of the film also. It's not a musical, I'm not saying that, but it's just like a music film that is just involved with the story and I think that aspect of the film was very, very, very freaking interesting. But yeah, this is a cliche the creature going home movies, but I never felt mad about that. Like when I watched this film, I'm like, you know what, as long as it's entertaining, it's sweet, it's heartwarming, I would enjoy it. And this film is definitely that. This film is actually surprisingly heartwarming in a couple of scenes. Especially with Lee's past in the film, that I literally just, you just feel sympathy for her in the film. And you kind of do tear up in a couple of scenes of the movie. But the adventure aspect is the part that I really enjoyed about the film. The characters are likeable, the Yeti is very sympathetic. You do feel bad for him for like, basically getting caught and getting chased by the scientists. And he just wants to go home. And I think they did that aspect and the character and cliche is really well in the film. And this is a suitable really enjoyable animated film. Guys, overall, Abominable is a really sweet and heartwarming family film that kids and adults should see. This is definitely, with Toy Story 4, my favorite animated film of the entire year. Actually, animated films so far have been pretty good this year. Yes, there's ugly dolls, blah, I'm not gonna watch those movies. I would say, animated films have been pretty good this year, and I'm really proud of that. Abominable is definitely one of those really great animated films, and I do recommend you kids and even adults to watch this film. There's a lot of parts that adults can enjoy as well. I'm going to give Abominable an A. 
So guys, that is my review for Up A Minute Guys, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. Do you like the film, hate the film? Or thought it's okay? Just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter. Get in contact with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and notify for my latest reviews. And have a nice day.